everyone, Pastor Caitlin here to tell you about what I'm reading this week. I am grateful for the strange amount of time that I have to read during this really weird time that we're living in. I'm grateful for that. Like Pastor Joel, who shared a couple of weeks ago, I have a bookshelf here at home of books that I want to read. They're um, ones that I've prioritized. I also have a, a shelf at work in the uh, church office, and um, the ones that I bring home are the ones that I'm a little higher on the list. Some of them, I admit, though, I've had um, for a couple of years. There are books here about church, books about youth ministry and confirmation, books about psychology, books about race, and I'm grateful to be working through them. I'm starting my stack of, of books that I've finished. I try to read something for work. At the same time, I also try to read just something for myself. So I want to share with you what those two books are right now. The first book um, for work is called The End of Youth Ministry by Andrew Root. Why Parents Don't Really Care About Youth Groups and What Youth Workers Should Do About It. Obviously, this does not sound encouraging. It sounds kind of sad. Um, I'm about halfway through it, and I'd say some of it I, I've experienced in youth ministry in these eight years that I've been with all of you, but there's also hope here in this book. But I want to share a particular section. Um, the author is asking families, what is the purpose of youth ministry? What role does it play for you and in the lives of your children? And I want to share a response that one of the families shared. There are a lot of cruel people out there, so we hope they get support. We hope the youth ministry supports the boys, giving them a safe place when they fail, because we know they will. I just want them to know that the church is there. The world is hard, and when they feel lost or hurting, I hope they know the church is the place they can go. Now, this isn't the time or, or space for me to talk to you um, about what I think the purpose of youth ministry is. I think I will keep wrestling with that, especially as I read through this book. But I do want to invite you to think about what is the purpose of youth ministry? What role does it play here in the life of our church? Often I hear some of you share with me and others who share that the future of the church hinges on young people, that our churches will die if we don't fill them with families and youth. And I would challenge that in some ways. I also would challenge this family who shared that they just want the church to be something they can fall back on, a safe place. While I hope the church is a safe space and I believe that the youth ministry we cultivate is a safe space for young people, I hope it's so much more than that. Church, I hope that you will take some time and pray and think about what is the purpose of our youth ministry and what are we striving to do? The other book that I'm reading, the one that stays um, on my nightstand I just started, is called Untamed by Glennon Doyle. And um, not a book I would recommend to everyone, but if you are a woman, I'd say a uh, young adult and older, this is a great read. And I want to share with you a section here that um, I'm not going to share my thoughts on it yet, but it's a teaser and an invitation to you for worship on Sunday. Um, because I'm going to explore one of the things that she says here. She writes, I've been convinced that the best way for a woman to love her partner, family, and community was to lose herself in service to them. In my desire to be of service, I did myself and the world a great disservice. I've seen what happens out in the world and inside our relationships when women stay numb, obedient, quiet, and small, selfless women make for an efficient society, but not a beautiful, true, or just one. Chew on that, and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday morning in worship. <laughs>